then go meet and then go to no Just shut and the Can you watch the wall? Don't don't speak with me. Slut. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So anyway, I didn't die as some of you assumed and on the other hand, I gotta admit that I haven't been as active on my upload schedule as I, uh, as I would wish to. So anyway, if you haven't seen my previous episode, I've um, bought not long ago a Huntsman Sapphire for uh, 619 keys and mix and I was actually hoping to resell it for at least 670 keys. So, um, long story short, uh, I fucked up real bad on this trade and like obviously I knew that this would be a pretty risky trade but I would honestly never expect that this knife would drop by like 100 keys in a matter of like a week or two but either way I've managed to cover up my loss in the upcoming days so in the first trade I sold my Huntsman Sapphire for a Bowie Sapphire and he also added 20 keys peer on top so uh, that was like I believe 30 keys overpay on his side next on I've sold this uh, Karambi Doppler I had for a couple of days now and I've managed to sell it for a little over the Steam analyst price which is actually pretty decent if you think about it and in the next trade I sold my pair of specialist gloves foundation for about 95 keys spear which was actually the full Steam analyst price once again so obviously at that moment I was uh, pretty much stuck but obviously as you know me uh, not for too long since, I've managed to snipe some really insane deals right after and mainly for the Huntsman Doppler, which I bought I believe only for 97 keys peer, which is uh, really really insane because the Steam Analyst price is about 159 keys peer and the let's say real resell price is about 120, which still is a quite a lot of money if you think about it. So, and also not long after, I've uh, found this uh, yet another guy who was trying to sell his ugly ass M9 freehand Velvern. And obviously I was trying to sell both of these knives but I couldn't simply find anyone who would be willing or uh, would be interested in buying them. So for the past few days I was trying to snipe a really good deal on few trade bot sites. And frankly after a few days on one side um, they had an outdated price on the M9. So I took it quickly and uh, I've managed to downgrade uh, these two knives for about 200 keys in low over tier knives and I think this was definitely worth it because I bought this two for exactly 151 keys peer I believe and this made me easy what is it 49 keys profit so also not to mention yesterday uh, while in school I received a random offer from a guy offering his flip knife rust coat for exactly 85% steam analyst price which I obviously took as fast as it appeared and this made me easy 5 keys or so. Uh, to top this episode off, I've also got an insane offer of 70 euros cash for my flip knife ultraviolet. And let me tell you something, this knife sells on Steam Community Market for about 75 to 80 euros. Now, uh, also a very important note while uh, talking about cash deals, never sell skins for cash unless you really, really know the seller. I literally, I only sell to people around my city and usually people I know personally. And also when I trade cash, I always try to stick to a rule uh, that uh, cash go first and the skins goes the second. So yeah, I'm obviously trying to use my reputation. So yeah, I'm really careful when it comes to cash. Now some of you may say that uh, I'm really picky when it comes to uh, my customers, but honestly, I would rather be picky uh, and not get a deal than to uh, deal with someone shady and uh, um, get scammed, you know. You know what is funny, since I lost about 13k a few weeks ago, well, <laughs> funny uh yeah um i was the climbing uh my way up again to my old inventory but like uh it's slowly getting there i mean i had like what 600 dollars and now i have like close to 4k which is pretty damn insane i'm not gonna lie okay so this is my inventory uh right at this moment i own uh 13 different knives and a little over 220 key spear and also i'm really hoping to resell this uh bovie sapphire until my next episode I'm really crossing my fingers because <laughs> I really don't want to lose that much money. Uh, but yeah, I'll see. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, that's it. So see you guys until the next video.